What's up guys? Um, so today I'm actually going to talk about uh, a really kind of sensitive topic sometimes. It, it really just depends. But uh, when I was in college, uh, a really big problem that came up was uh, internal conflict. So I got a question uh, from a friend on Instagram who said, man, I'm having a rough time this season. Uh, the guy goes to one of my old rival schools. He was like, I'm having a tough time this season. The team doesn't have the chemistry that it used to have. And I'm just fighting a lot. I'm like, there's lots of infighting, or, you know, fighting in between uh, the guys on the team. And uh, this happened to me a lot, actually. When I was at Lindsey Wilson College, uh, there were, uh, I would say, there were cliques. So whenever you would go to practice, you know, before practice, you could see the cliques. There would be like group one here, two here, three, four, five here. You know, there were, there were tons of different cliques. Um, and there's many reasons for those cliques to be. Um, one of the biggest reasons was people are different, you know, like uh, one of the BS stereotypes that you get or that college tells you is this ideal of a family. Like we're all a family. We all are supposed to love each other. Oh man, you're all a team. We're all one big happy Blue Raider family. Blue Raiders was Lindsey Wilson's thing. And it's crap. It's it's false. It's not true. Um, and anyone who tries to sell you this, uh, we must be a family thing is BS uh, because Honestly, like when you go to college, especially, and you're on a wrestling team, you're in a room full of adult men, um, or you know, young adult to grown adult men, 18 to 25 year olds, and we're, we have to see each other every single day. So of course we're not gonna like each other, man. Of course I'm not gonna want to hang out with the the dumb 18 year old freshman who came in and won't stop partying on the weekends. And of course I'm gonna hang out with the guy who is my same age, 23, 24 year old, uh, who's mature and kind of has his stuff together. Of course, this is so normal. Um, so how, but how do you stop the infighting? So uh, one of the things that I did was I kind of separated myself from the situation. So uh, this might sound bad because most people aren't gonna tell you this. I didn't really try to go and do conflict management. No, I didn't really care because I knew I was more than wrestling and I made it a factor to become friends with people that I wanted to be friends with. I didn't force myself to be friends with people on the wrestling team. I did, however, and this is the tip that you guys should really take. I did, however, um, compromise. So my compromise was I would treat everybody on my team with respect. I would not tell them I liked them or disliked them, but I would treat them as they are my teammates, and I would treat them with respect. If they wanted to drill with me, I would drill with them. If they wanted to go live, I would go live with them. Um, if they had any advice to ask me, because you know I was a returning national champ every year going into the uh, season after my freshman year, I would give them that, that advice. I would talk to them. I would work with them. Um, you know, and I would even have a laugh and joke around with some of these guys, but they weren't necessarily my friends. They were my teammates. And uh, one of the biggest things, uh, that I grew to know, especially in college, is that I wear different hats. That we all wear different hats. When I go in the wrestling room, I'm the wrestler. I'm Brandon Reed the wrestler. I do the things that a wrestler does. I'm around wrestlers. When I get out of the wrestling room, I'm Brandon Reed. Brandon Reed outside of the wrestling room wore tons of different hats too. I was the weightlifter. I loved weightlifting. I was the man who studied Japanese. I loved studying Japanese. You know, I had a girlfriend, so I was also a boyfriend. I had other friends outside of the wrestling room, and so I was uh, with those friends. If you ever watched me um, eat in the calf, not that you would watch me, but if you were even just looking around and you happened to see where I was sitting in the calf, it was never with the wrestling team because honestly, I never was very close with any of the wrestlers. I mean, there were a few, you know, there were a handful of the wrestlers who were like brothers to me, but besides that, I was never really that close, you know, tight knit with the wrestling team. I was usually hanging out with uh, a different group of people. And uh, if you looked at them, you'd be like, what the heck, why is Brandon hanging out with them, not the wrestlers? But it's because I like those people and we had lots of things in common. Um, I, I suggest that like when you get to college or you know if you're on a team of any sorts, don't force yourself to hang out with your teammates. Yes, you should ha guys should have a couple team bonding events every once in a while. And yes, if you guys click, you should definitely hang out as much as possible. Whatever, dude. Enjoy your life. It's for you. But if you don't for some reason, your personality just doesn't match up with these guys, you don't have to hang out with them. And don't, don't force yourself to um, because that will lead you to becoming... Um, you know, just frustrated, and angry, and resentful, um, and especially resentful towards the time that you have around those people. So I did a really good job myself of just stick, sticking away from people and staying away from people who made me feel resentful. Um, so 
really that's that's the best way I think to manage conflict is to separate yourself from the situation um, and understand that you don't have to like every single person in the wrestling room um, another thing a really great piece of advice is let's say the the conflicts the intermingling the, the the infighting of the team is just getting really really bad and now there's there is neglect or there is um resentment rather and you guys are starting to hate each other uh because this actually happened with me and one other person in particular you guys have to talk and the best way to do it is you him your coach the coach's job is not for him, the coach's job is not to like, you know, be your counselor. The coach is to be there to be a mediator. You and this guy should sit down, or you and this girl, whatever, whoever it is, um, your teammate, need to sit down with the coach, and you guys need to talk about your problems. Address it. What's the issue? For me, I didn't like the way that guy, had, the the guy I'm talking about, had the situation with. I hated how he talked to me. Whenever we would talk, he would talk down to me, or you know, he would always undermine um, my authority. Uh, not that I was uh, authority, but he would undermine the things I said consistently. And it wasn't every once in a while. It was every single time I would talk. So me and this guy had to talk. And I was like, dude, why do you? Why are you such a jerk? Every time I say something, you, you know, you, you're a jerk about it. You, you ignore it or you, you, you just blow it over. Or, you know, you talk crap behind my back. And then it comes to me. And I'm like, why are you? Like, I've never even talked to you really. Like, um, but this guy apparently thought that I thought I was better than everyone and I was like dude like no I don't like I don't he, and you know why it's because I, I don't hang out with the wrestling team or I didn't hang out with the wrestling team this was a problem and then I communicated to him what I'm telling you guys right now like dude I'm so much more than wrestling so this is what I was telling this guy like I'm so much more than wrestling my best friends aren't even on the wrestling team the people I feel like I'm family with the people I live with during the summer they're not on the wrestling team. That's why I sit with those people because me and those people created a really deep relationship uh, that basically created this thing. I mean, it's nothing personal towards the wrestling team. It's just I need to do what's best for me. And so me and this guy communicated, and actually we cleared things up. We became pretty decent friends, you know. Um, we weren't, you know, like this afterwards, but we did become pretty decent friends afterwards, and it was because we had clear communication. Usually one of the reasons that there's infighting on teams is because there's lack of communication. There's a lot of assuming going around. So uh, if you're having a problem, get you, your coach, or you uh, and an another guy, maybe a little, like a guy who's kind of in the middle here, um, and the person you're having a problem with, and have a discussion. Let that mediator just, you know, just talk, maybe ask questions. Um, but really the big thing is about you guys having a conversation where you both feel safe because communication and lack of communication is usually one of the big things that destroys team, team chemistry and team culture. Um, other than that, guys, uh, there's a lot more things you can do, but I think some of the biggest things are, you know, is just understanding when to wear your hats, who you are outside of your team, and understanding that you don't have to force yourself to be best friends with everyone on the team, because realistically, especially when you're in college, you're there, that's a job, it's, they're, they don't have to be your family, you know, it, you, they can be your family, and they're really awesome, and it's best case scenario if they are, but they don't have to be, and they don't have to be, uh, them not being a part of your family doesn't mean you don't have to enjoy being on the team. Uh, the second thing is is have a discussion and create clear communications. Uh, identify the problem and then basically solve it. Talk about it. See what the, op the opposing person's point of view is. Let your point of view go out there. And you guys don't have to come to an agreement. It's not an argument. It's not a debate. You just communicate what the issue is. That way you guys both understand each other a little bit. And then you create boundaries with each other. And that's it. So, guys, if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, share. And that's it, guys. See you guys later.